So many distilleries in Scotland are owned by huge multinational corporations and although their whisky industry is fantastic for Scotland, a lot of the wealth is taken out. This is Glen Wivis and it's the world's first community owned distillery. I'm from Dingwall. I grew up here, I went to school here, and it's a town that's gone through a bit of economic troubles. The Glen Wivis project was conceived when I was doing my normal day job, flying helicopters throughout the Highlands and Islands to very remote areas in Scotland where communities have to be very innovative to sustain themselves. Seeing those things really gave me the idea that renewable energy and the Scotch malt whisky could be brought together to create something which could sustain the Dingwall community. This really gives something to Dingwall to call its own. Well, community owned, we have over 3,000 members. Everyone's invested between £250 and £100,000. It's very much one member, one vote. We are very democratic in our approach. The majority of our investors, shareholders, are from the immediate area around Dingwall. So it's their project as much as it's our project. We didn't invest to make a profit in it. We invested to become part of the community. It is and can be so much more than just an investment in a distillery. Some of the proceeds get put aside to be used within the community itself rather than just going into big investors' pockets. In terms of community benefit, the prospect of the creation of local jobs and more tourism is an opportunity to put Dingwall back in the map. The whisky industry in general is quite a dirty industry. It traditionally uses oil and gas to power it. We're going to resist that trend by generating our own electricity. We launched our community share offer in 2016. Our original target was £1.5 million and we raised 2.6, it really was staggering. There was always a factor built in that Glen Wivis would have to borrow money. Borrowing money can be expensive. The board decided that to offset the costs, we would launch a second share offer. The whisky stills were arriving, things were really going out to the ground. A lot of emails coming in asking if we could still invest and we felt we should allow people to do that. We came up with, I think is only the second open share offer that's ever been developed. And we did need some support. We were signposted towards the hive. And the team came up and put together this open share offer. Without that support, we would really have struggled. And specifically, we were awarded the community share standard mark. And that has given us the confidence as directors that we've been able to pass on to the investors. We've gone through the first mile marker of £250,000 and we're well on the way to the finish line of £750,000. As an investor, yes, you get this part that there's a little bit of Rothschild that is ours. <laughs> it's our distillery. It's not just about Dingwall. Any community can come up with an idea, come together and create something which is unique. We've built a whisky distillery, what can you create? <laughs>